Okay, these are some exclusive images. In fact, I don't even know if I'm gonna get told off for these images. I'm gonna show you them anyway. Hi Inverse, I'm Cynthia Adai Robinson and I play Queen Regent Midia. I'm Nazanin Bonyadi and I play Bronwyn. I'm Michael Kavanagh and I play Nori Brandford. My name is Sophia Nomveta and I play Princess Disa. I'm Morvid and I'm playing Gladriel in the Rings of Power. The moment that I found out that I was going to be joining the show was quite an interesting moment because um, I was very much laying in a bed um, post C-section with a baby who was four days old. I was, uh, like many people, at home in lockdown. I was learning lines for something else, very jet lagged, on the floor of a room. And I got the call and it was the most internal celebration because I couldn't say anything. Four auditions later, I found out, and months, months of auditioning, and being in the mix. In the mix is a promise and a hope that you hold on to. I was in a complete haze and daze whilst both my personal life and my career life skyrocketed into the stars apparently in the space of like a week i was laid up my husband was by my side my baby was in my arms and the phone call came to say pack your bags it's yours i found out i had the role when i was at my first toronto film festival and i was getting my hair and makeup done i got a phone call on the hotel phone saying that i got the job and i couldn't tell them what it was it's all very secret but we all had a little celebration with them not knowing what i was in but being very supportive and then um, felt just very overwhelmed, in a good way, and then passed out on stage. And that's how I dealt with it. We have the fearsome infrastructure of um, Tolkien, the legend Tolkien. But of course, uh, we have us, we have creatives, we have scholars, we have people who haven't necessarily um, been introduced to the text in such, a, in such an intense way before. So we sat round a table and we got to work. I think lots of actors find rehearsing slightly embarrassing and that's definitely the case when you're attempting to be a thousand years old and magical and have pointy ears and you're just in your gym clothes. Like many queens before me, you've got to sort of learn how to walk the walk and talk the talk. So I had a lot of dialect work with our incredible dialect coach, Lee. I got to do some horse riding, doing a little bit of just light stunt work just to kind of get a sense of movement in the body. The rehearsal process was really collaborative. Um, everyone on set, every department, it was fully invested in getting it right. So I remember the first day I stepped into the full hair, makeup, and costume uh, of, of Bronwyn. We did camera tests that day with our full regalia. It was the first time we, we actually realized that we are playing these characters and looked at each other and thought, it's, it's happening. What was really special about this character is, of course, we're building something for the first time from the ground up. And so there were many deliberations and collaborations, in fact, on the, on the costume and how we make Princess Disa come to life. The very first costume, if I remember correctly, that actually was made for me was um, armor. You know, I have lots of beautiful queenly robes and gowns, but getting armor made is a process. It was a really special moment when I had my final fitting for Gladriel's armor before shooting for the first time. And all the hair and makeup team were there, all the costume department. And um, it was very emotional because so much hard work had been put into it. I felt really proud to be wearing all these people's art, really. is much better than doing it in joggers. It was so surreal because obviously once you start getting used to putting the, the ears on and the feet on and the costumes on, it just becomes a part of the daily. But I think being on the phone to a friend of mine in Australia and then me looking in the mirror and seeing myself with kind of a, a, a wig cap on and these ears having these like hairy, huge feet slipping around was um, quite an experience and very surreal. It was definitely a long process with the prosthetics and of course this incredible wig, we named her Gloria. But I would say that camera test day when I got to put on this incredible regalia, we had these golden boots, which I reckon are a few kilos per, per boot. Quads of steel by the end of the run. She came alive. That was the moment where Disa began for me um, as an actor 
and for her as a character, I think that was the moment. It, it was a moment I'll never forget because the attention to detail that um, Kate Hawley, our costume designer, put into the costumes, the hair and makeup team, everybody's at the top of their game. So hopefully what you see is a lot of love went into this production. One of the things that surprised me while filming is just how scary um, the orcs are, even though you know they're not real, but the prosthetics are so wonderful um, that it's really frightening filming with them when you've got those orcs coming at you. Um, and then they're equally so unfrightening when they're drinking a smoothie in between takes. What I thought was a really pleasant surprise were the days that felt really sort of intimate and small. Um, you know, I have a lot of really beautiful scenes where it's just myself and one of my castmates. So I think one of the great things about this series is you get the, the sweeping scope of a huge fantasy series, but you also get a, a show about relationships at its core. One thing that I didn't really fully appreciate or understand when I, when I got this job was the scope, the scale. And I think the day where it all sort of it was like an aha moment, it was when we took helicopters to the top of a mountain. And it was as if we were being lifted into the heavens, transported into another world to bring this show to you guys. It was so magical. We were, we were in the clouds. It was completely fantastical. This was my first night ever in New Zealand. It was a karaoke party for someone's birthday. And it was the first time I ever met J.A., the director of the first two episodes and um, I had like my film camera with me and I took this picture of him. It was Halloween, by the way, it was around Halloween. He was like fully dressed up in this incredible makeup. It was, it was quite an interesting moment to meet someone who was about to direct you in these episodes. So these are the hands of Tamara, um, my makeup artist, and Arena, who was a prosthetics artist doing my ears. This is what happened every morning for about two hours. These were the first people I saw. Yeah, I really miss that happening. This is the South Island of New Zealand. I went to this amazing retreat called Aroha in Glenorchy, and I sort of, it was my reprieve and my retreat to get away. And there's no better therapy than nature therapy, particularly in New Zealand. As a, as a sort of cast and a, and a very sort of fast family, if you will, um, there were a lot of things to, to celebrate. So for all our hard work, when it was time to be celebratory, it was always somebody's birthday or a holiday. This picture and this memory is from Nazanin's uh, birthday party that was 80s themed. We just danced the night away and just had so much fun. I love this group so much. They really are my my special little Middle Earth family. A BTS expert I am not, but um, there was no way that we could miss opportunities lived in that incredible country. So a couple of my faves was the time that we went to a place called Russell, the beautiful island of Russell, and it was for Megan's birthday. So this is me, Mordefib, and Megan on a boat. Can I just say that I spent half of that day pulling a splinter out of uh, Mordefib's toe? And this was her position the entire time. She really is Galadriel, 100%. Thank you so much for watching, Inverse. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to watch Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, airing September 2nd on Amazon Prime. Sorry, so I've got to say I'm playing with just who I am. <gasps> My name and who I am, they're the same. No, we're not getting that access. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, my brain. You see what's happening? The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. It's a long title, you guys. Are we on? Okay. My own BTS. Yeah, yeah. All my sneaky set picks. Um, we're here shooting a cover for... <laughs> okay, you okay? Yeah. What happened? It would have been rolling if something do you know what? I think that would have been quite entertaining, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See you later.